In contract law, a non-compete clause often NCC, or covenant not to compete CNC, is a clause under which one party usually an employee agrees not to enter into or start a similar profession or trade in competition against another party usually the employer. Some courts refer to these as, "...restrictive covenants." As a contract provision, a CNC is bound by traditional contract requirements including the consideration doctrine. The use of such clauses is premised on the possibility that upon their termination or resignation, an employee might begin working for a competitor or starting a business, and gain competitive advantage by exploiting confidential information about their former employer's operations or trade secrets, or sensitive information such as customer, client lists, business practices, upcoming products, and marketing plans. However, an over-broad CNC may prevent an employee from working elsewhere at all. English common law originally held any such constraint to be unenforceable under the public policy doctrine. Contemporary case law permits exceptions, but generally will only enforce CNCs to the extent necessary to protect the employer. Most jurisdictions in which such contracts have been examined by the courts have deemed CNCs to be legally binding so long as the clause contains reasonable limitations as to the geographical area and time period in which an employee of a company may not compete. The extent to which non compete clauses are legally allowed varies per jurisdiction. For example, the state of California in the United States invalidates non-compete clauses for all but equity stakeholders in the sale of business interests. History As far back as Dyer's case in 1414, English common law chose not to enforce non-compete agreements because of their nature as restraints on trade. That ban remained unchanged until 1621, when a restriction that was limited to a specific geographic location was found to be an enforceable exception to the previously absolute rule. Almost a hundred years later, the exception became the rule with the 1711 watershed case of Mitchell v. Reynolds which established the modern framework for the analysis of the enforceability of non-compete agreements. <laughs> United States The majority of U.S. states recognize and enforce various forms of non-compete agreements. A few states, such as California, Montana, North Dakota, and Oklahoma, totally ban non-compete agreements for employees, or prohibit all non-compete agreements except in limited circumstances. For this reason, non-compete agreements have been popular among companies with employees working in states where they are allowed. They are very common among commercial radio stations and television stations, especially for radio personalities and television personalities working for media conglomerates. For example, if a radio or television personality quits, is laid off or fired from one station in the media market they work in, they cannot work for another competing station in the same market until their contract expires with their former employing station. As of 2018, non compete clauses cover 18% of United States workers, and this is down from 38% of workers. While more prevalent among higher wage workers, non-competes covered 14% of workers without college degrees in 2018. Topic: <laughs> California. Non-compete agreements are automatically void as a matter of law in California, except for a small set of specific situations expressly authorized by statute. They were outlawed by the original California Civil Code in 1872 Civ. Code, former Section 1673, under the influence of the American legal scholar David Dudley Field II. <laughs> Out-of-state agreements are not enforceable 
A leading court decision discussing the conflict between California law and the laws of other states is the 1998 Decision Application Group, Inc. v. Hunter Group, Inc. In Hunter, a Maryland company required that its Maryland-based employee agree to a one-year non-compete agreement. The contract stated that it was governed by and to be construed according to Maryland law. A Maryland employee then left to work for a competitor in California. When the new California employer sued in California State Court to invalidate the covenant not to compete, the California court agreed and ruled that the non-compete provision was invalid and not enforceable in California. Business and Professions Code Section 16600 reflects a strong public policy of the state of California and the state has a strong interest in applying its law and protecting its businesses so that they can hire the employees of their choosing. California law is thus applicable to non-California employees seeking employment in California, whether California courts are required by the full faith and credit clause of the United States Constitution to enforce equitable judgments from courts of other states, having personal jurisdiction over the defendant, that enjoin competition or are contrary to important public interests in California is an issue that has not yet been decided. Topic. Exceptions Valid non compete agreements in California There are limited situations where a reasonable non compete agreement may be valid in California. Where the owner of a business is selling the entire business, or is selling the goodwill in the business, the seller may be bound by a non compete clause. When there is a dissolution or disassociation of a partnership, where there is a dissolution of a limited liability company. Florida The enforceability of non-compete agreements in the state of Florida is quite common. Some law firms build their law practice around these agreements and represent employees, employers and potential new employers of an employee currently bound by a non-compete agreement. The agreement is not allowed to be overly broad and generally difficult to enforce if it is for more than two years. However, Florida courts will rarely refuse to enforce a non-compete agreement due to its length or geographic scope. Instead, under Florida law, courts are required to «blue pencil» an impermissibly broad or lengthy non-compete agreement to make it reasonable within the limits of Florida. Stat. Section 542.335. Also if the agreement is part of a general employment contract then there is the possibility of a prior breach by an employer. This may cause the non-compete clause of the contract to become unenforceable. However, recent case law from Florida's appellate courts has eroded the utility of the prior breach defense. <laughs> Hawaii A new law bars high-tech companies, but only such companies, in Hawaii from requiring their employees to enter into non and non agreements as a condition of employment. The new law, Act 158, went into effect on July 1, 2015. Illinois <inaudible> 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 Non-compete agreements will be enforced in Illinois if the agreement is ancillary to a valid relationship employment, sale of a business, etc. and one must be no greater in scope than is required to protect a legitimate business interest of the employer, two must not impose an undue hardship on the employee, and three cannot be injurious to the public. 
While reasonable geographic and temporal limitations on the non-compete agreement are not expressly required by governing law, they tend to be examined as a measure of whether the scope of the non-compete is greater than is required to protect a legitimate business interest of the employer. Unlike other jurisdictions, which follow the general rule that consideration is only important as to whether it exists and not as to whether it is adequate, Illinois will inquire into the adequacy of consideration. The majority of courts will require at least two years of continued at-will employment to support a non-compete agreement or any other type of restrictive covenant. However, in certain cases involving particularly sharp conduct by an employee, courts have required less. While Illinois courts state the rule above, logically the analytical steps should be in reverse order. Because inadequate consideration is fatal to the claim. Thus, under McGuinness v. OAG Motorcycle Ventures, Inc. there are three requirements in order for a post-employment restrictive covenant limiting a former employee's right to work for a competitor to be enforceable under Illinois law. 1. It must be ancillary to a valid contract. 2. It must be supported by adequate consideration, and 3. It must be reasonable, considering whether it a, is no greater than is required for the protection of a legitimate business interest of the employer, b, does not impose undue hardship on the employee, and c, is not injurious to the public. The McGuinness decision interpreted the Fifield decision, above, to mandate two years' employment in order for consideration to be adequate. Starting in 2017, Illinois banned non-compete clauses against employees earning less than $13 per hour. Massachusetts Non-compete agreements will be enforced in Massachusetts in appropriate circumstances. Historical context By 1837, Massachusetts had indisputably adopted the analysis established in Mitchell. In 1922, the Supreme Judicial Court eliminated any doubt that restrictive covenants in the employment context would be enforced when reasonable. Current law The basic proposition enunciated long ago continues to apply, a covenant not to compete is enforceable only if it is necessary to protect a legitimate business interest, reasonably limited in time and space, and consonant with the public interest. Reasonableness Reasonableness is the touchstone of the analysis and is highly fact-dependent. The context in which the CNC arises such as employment relationship, contractual relationship is a critical factor in the analysis. A CNC that is unreasonable because it is too broad, will be scaled back if it is in fact capable of being narrowed, even when a CNC is limited in duration, geographic reach, and scope, it will be enforced only to the extent, necessary to protect the legitimate business interests of the employer. Recognized legitimate business interests are generally identified as the protection of trade secrets, confidential information, and goodwill. Topic. Consideration An otherwise valid CNC must still, like other contracts, be supported by consideration. Accordingly, the Supreme Judicial Court has held that a CNC must be ancillary to an existing employment or contract of employment or some other permissible transaction. However, consideration can exist regardless of whether the CNC is entered into at the beginning of the employment relationship, during the term of employment, or even at the end of an employment relationship. Topic Texas Under Texas law, 
A covenant not to compete is enforceable if it is ancillary to or part of an otherwise enforceable agreement at the time the agreement is made to the extent that it contains limitations as to time, geographical area, and scope of activity to be restrained that are reasonable and do not impose a greater restraint than is necessary to protect the goodwill or other business interest of the promisee. Specific rules apply to physicians, notably that a physician cannot be prohibited from providing continuing care and treatment to a specific patient or patients during the course of an acute illness even after the contract or employment has been terminated. However, Texas courts will not enforce a covenant not to compete if the court determines that such a covenant is against public policy and therefore substantively unconscionable. Utah CNCs are enforceable, but any CNC entered into after May 10, 2016 may not extend for a period of more than one year. Virginia In Virginia, the enforceability of covenants not to compete is governed by common law principles. As restrictions on trade, CNCs are not favored by Virginia courts, which will enforce only narrowly drafted CNCs that do not offend public policy. In Virginia, a plaintiff must prove by a preponderance of the evidence that the covenant is reasonable in the sense that it is, one, no greater than necessary to protect its legitimate business interests, such as a trade secret, two, not unduly harsh or oppressive in restricting the employee's ability to earn a living, and three, not against public policy. Paramount Termite Control Co., Inc. v. Rector, 380 SE 2 D 922, 924 VA, 1989 Legitimate business interest in Virginia, courts weigh the one function, two geographic scope and three duration of the CNC against the employer's legitimate business interests to determine their reasonableness. Additionally, CNCs are only reasonable if they prevent the employee from entering into direct competition with the employer and must not encompass any activity in which the employer is not engaged. Virginia courts will not generally attempt to revise or enforce a narrower restriction in a non-compete agreement. As a result, a drafting error or unenforceable restriction may render the entire agreement unenforceable in Virginia. Reasonable restriction on employees' ability to earn a living Second, to enforce the CNC, a plaintiff must show that it is not unduly harsh or oppressive in restricting the employee's ability to earn a living. In Virginia, a CNC is not unduly harsh or oppressive if balancing its function, geographic scope and duration the employee is not precluded from one, working in a capacity not in competition with the employer within the restricted area or two, providing similar services outside the restricted area. Public policy Third, to enforce a CNC, a plaintiff must show the CNC is reasonable from the standpoint of a sound public policy. Virginia does not favor restrictions on employment and therefore CNCs are generally held against public policy unless they are narrowly drafted as enumerated above. In Virginia, a CNC does not violate public policy if the restrictions it imposes do not create a monopoly for the services offered by the employer or create a shortage of the skills provided by the employee. Washington According to Racine v. Bender, CNCs will be enforced by courts if they are validly formed and reasonable. There are exceptions, like in Labriola v. 
Pollard Group, Inc., where the Washington Supreme Court invalidated a CNC not supported by independent consideration by strictly enforcing the pre-existing duty rule. Canada Canadian courts will enforce non-competition and non-solicitation agreements, however, the agreement must be limited in time frame, business scope, and geographic scope to what is reasonably required to protect the company's proprietary rights, such as confidential marketing information or client relations and the scope of the agreement must be unambiguously defined. The 2009 Supreme Court of Canada case Shafron v. KRG Insurance Brokers Western, Inc. 2009 SCC 6, held a non-compete agreement to be invalid due to the term, "'Metropolitan City of Vancouver' not being legally defined, the 2000 Ontario Court of Appeals case Lyons v. Multary established a general preference towards non-solicitation over non-competition agreements, regarding the latter as, "...much more drastic weapons." and held a non-competition agreement to be invalid when a non-solicitation agreement would have been sufficient to protect the company's interests. Europe Generally, CNCs are allowable in Europe only if the employer can show a reasonable business interest in having a CNC. In Belgium, CNCs are restricted to new employments within Belgium and for no more than one year. The employer must pay financial compensation for the duration of the CNC, amounting at least half of the gross salary for the corresponding period. In France, CNCs must be limited in time to a maximum of two years and to a region where there the employee's new work can reasonably be seen as competitive. The region can be a city or the whole country, depending on the circumstances. The employer must pay financial compensation, typically 30% of the last salary. A CNC may not unreasonably limit the possibilities of the employee to find a new employment. In Germany, CNCs are allowed for a term up to two years. The employer must provide financial compensation for the duration of the CNC amounting to at least half the gross salary. Unreasonable clauses, for example, excluding similar jobs throughout the whole of Germany, can be invalidated. In Italy, CNCs are regulated by Articles 2125, 2596, and 1751 bis of the Civil Code. In the Netherlands, non-compete clauses non or are allowed regarding issues such as moving to a new employer and approaching customers of the old company. Unreasonable clauses can be invalidated in court. In Portugal, CNCs are regulated by Article 136 of the Labour Code and restricted to two years extendable to three years in cases of access to particularly sensitive information. The employer must pay financial compensation for the duration of the CNC but the law doesn't specify anything regarding the amount of the compensation. In Romania, CNCs are regulated by Articles 21–24 of the Labour Code and restricted to two years. The employer must pay financial compensation for the duration of the CNC, amounting to at least 50% of the last six months' salary. In Spain, CNCs are regulated by Article 21 of the Labour Law. CNCs are allowed up to two years for technical professions and six months for other professions. In the United Kingdom, CNCs are called restraint of trade clauses, and may be used only if the employer can prove a legitimate business interest to protect in entering the clause into the contract. 
Mere competition will not amount to a legitimate business interest. In Crown dependencies, as there are no directly relevant laws, it is generally accepted that UK Crown law applies, but in the case of intellectual property, many financial and other institutions require employees to sign 10 year or longer CNCs, which could be seen to apply even if they leave the country or enter an unrelated field of work. Some of the conditions actually violate the Human Rights Act to wit, freedom of expression and freedom of speech but as the CNC itself is also subject to a non-disclosure agreement it is difficult to know just what rights have been signed away. In principle even social media posts, emails, books etc. from before or after the time of employment may be covered by an NDA or CNC despite this also being a blatant breach of human rights and GDPR it could be said that governments choose the lesser of two evils to increase employment. Some comparisons have been drawn between these documents and the Official Secrets Act. India Section 27 of the Indian Contract Act has a general bar on any agreement that puts a restriction on trade. On this basis, it would appear that all non-compete clauses in India are invalid. However, the Supreme Court of India has clarified that some non-compete clauses may be in interest of trade and commerce, and such clauses are not barred by Section 27 of the Contract Act, and therefore valid in India. Notably, only those clauses backed by a clear objective that is considered to be an advantage of trade and commerce survives this test. For instance, a co-founder of a startup who signed a non-compete clause can be held to it, but if a junior software developer or a call center employee signs a non-compete clause with the employer, the same may not be enforceable. <laughs> Pakistan According to Section 27 of the Contract Act, 1872, any agreement that restrains a person from exercising a lawful profession, trade or business is void. However, courts of Pakistan have made decisions in the past in favor of such restrictive clauses given that the restrictions are «reasonable». The definition of «reasonable» depends on the time period, geographical location and the designation of employee. In the case of Exide Pakistan Limited v. Abdul Wadud, 2008 CLD 1258 Karachi, the High Court of Sin stated that reasonableness of the clause will vary from case to case and depends mainly on duration and extent of geographical territory. Related restrictive covenants While CNCs are one of the most common types of restrictive covenants, there are many others. Each serves a specific purpose and provides specific rights and remedies. The most common types of restrictive covenants are as follows. Garden leave clause, a type of CNC by which an employee is compensated during the period that the employee is restricted. Forfeiture for competition agreement and compensation for competition agreement, an agreement by which an employee either forfeits certain benefits or pays some amount of money to engage in activities that are competitive with his former employer. Forfeiture agreement, an agreement by which an employee forfeits benefits when his employment terminates, regardless of whether he engages in competitive activities. Nondisclosure, confidentiality agreement, an agreement by which a party agrees not to use or disclose the other party's confidential information. Non-solicitation agreement, an agreement by which an employee agrees not to solicit and or not to accept business from the employer's customers. Anti-piracy agreement, an agreement by which an employee agrees not to solicit and or not to hire the employer's employees. Invention assignment agreement, an agreement by which an employee assigns to the employer any potential inventions conceived of during employment. The enforceability of these agreements depends on the law of the particular state. 
As a general rule, however, with the exception of invention assignment agreements, they are subject to the same analysis as other CNCs. Cases In 2005, Microsoft and Google litigated the enforceability of a non-compete clause in Kai Fu Lee's employment contract with Microsoft. Difference in state laws were highlighted as Google attempted to maneuver the case to California courts, where California law would be more likely to hold the clause unenforceable. IBM v. Papermaster no. 089078, 2008 U.S. Dist, Mark Papermaster moving from IBM to Apple Computer in 2008. In April 2010, after a year of non-compete clause stipulated on the contract, Paul Tudel Jr. formerly from Orange County Choppers, was able to start his own new non-motorcycle design company. <laughs> <laughs>